Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping, looking at pry bars uh, for various survival tasks. Uh, they come in very large formats. Uh, this one here and the, the first one is, a, is kind of a more of a compact. Uh, I got this at the dollar store for a dollar. Uh, you also have these uh, more flat type of uh, crap pry bars. Uh, these um, are even smaller. Uh, it's seven and a half inches overall. And uh, at just a few inches, you got these keychain style pry bars. This one's made out of stainless steel. I would imagine that these two here are made out of high carbon steel. Uh, so you uh, you have these uh, different options here, and uh, they have uh, different um, uh, notches cut out for either pulling out nails or different types of prying applications, as you can see. And uh, just like this small one, it has a uh, small nail puller. Uh, at different places here in a prying tool at the end. And then over here at the larger one, you just have a much more robust, uh, kind of a, a wedge chisel type of pry on that end. And over here you have uh, the nail puller and also a, uh, could be a door breacher. But this is a smaller one. They have much larger pry bars for the average prepper. Um, obviously you would have a, an assortment of pry bars. Uh, the larger ones you would probably either keep in your truck or your vehicle and uh, shed or, you know, somewhere on your in your property, maybe in a barn uh, with your other tools. But on, on when you're on the go, uh, these three might be uh, something you would consider for your bug out bag. Now, this one here might just be a little bit too big. I would think this is just too heavy uh, and too bulky. Uh, this one actually just weighs just a few ounces. I think this is a good option. Uh, this one on the keychain could be an option, but once again, it's very limited and uh, you get very little leverage. At least with this, you can get some leverage. So, uh, so uh, what are your thoughts on these pry bars or what are your thoughts on pry bars in general? Um, in a bug out situation and even survival situations, being able to pull out nails uh, or even break off heads of screws may be important. Um, but more importantly is to pry open maybe crates or boxes or maybe door jams that are locked. Um, you know, so basically a forced type of entry, worst case scenario, if you have to get protection and there is no other way to preserve life and uh, you have to breach a building, um, those are some bad things that you would have to do for survival. Uh, obviously, I do not condone any type of um, illegal activity by any means. Um, and these are just used as a, as a last resort, or maybe for your own home. Maybe you have a building that um, uh, you have been locked out of, or uh, you uh, have had an emergency situation such as uh, an earthquake or a tornado, and the, and the structure's compromised, and the door jam has been wedged, and you can't get into your garage or shed that has vital supply and you had a few of these stored elsewhere, you may be able to breach your own building to get access when you couldn't get access before. So there's a whole host and range of these. These could be used as safety tools, rescue tools, uh, egress tools, breach tools, and uh, and they can also be used as a building tool too. Um, maybe you're, you're, you're building a, uh, a small structure like a shed or putting up some fences and you have your nail put in the wrong spot uh, something like this could help remove the nail, and so these these are all these are some overall tools, uh, multi-use tools. Uh, but I do think at least some type of lightweight uh, seven to nine inch lightweight pry bar. For me personally, I think the flat pry bars are just better for packs because they're more packable and they don't weigh as much. You may not get the inherent strength as maybe uh, one of these tubular round ones. These this is a solid steel one, but it has more of a. Um, a rounded type of configuration, which is probably stronger. So, uh, overall, I think these are great. Uh, Keychain ones are, are a little bit more of a novelty. Uh, I don't think that I would use this for very much at all. But if that's all you had and you needed to get into something small and it didn't require a lot of leverage, this is an option. So, if you have pictures and uh, different types of pry bars that you would like to share, I'd be interested to see them. I, I do have a few other ones that I have in some packs that I've actually uh, braided this handle section uh, with parachute cord. And you could also wrap it with tape. And so you would have tape or cord available. 
And you could also make lanyards to it to attach to your wrist so that you could uh, keep it to your person in case you're over water or uh, you don't want to drop it into something and lose it. So uh, lots of different brands. They range anywhere from like, I got this for a dollar. I think this one was just a few dollars. I think at Walmart or Harbor Freight, one of the two places I got that. And then on Amazon for just a couple bucks, I got this stainless steel uh, keychain uh, crowbar or pry bar or pry tool. So uh, alrighty, this is uh, some, some examples of pry bars and tools uh, that can have uh, various uses for prepping during an emergency or even uh, during peace times. Uh, just to have around the house. Uh, these are just like uh, bolt cutters and, uh, you know, having a good saw and a good axe and uh, uh, maybe a sledgehammer. These are, this is just one part of your toolkit. And uh, over time, hopefully we'll be able to explore other options within tools. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.